Hey everyone, Chris G of TruthFrequencyRadio.com here for a quick little news blurb. It looks like Thunder Energies has discovered invisible entities. And the way they've done this is by taking they live type technology with sunglasses or in this particular case a telescope and um, they've been able to identify entities that live just outside of our field of range. Now this story was reported by b-tv.com. Thunder Energies Corporation has recently detected invisible entities in our terrestrial environment with a revolutionary Santilli telescope with concave lenses. Thunder Energies Corporation has previously presented confirmations of the apparent existence of antimatter galaxies, antimatter asteroids, and antimatter cosmic rays detected in preceding tests. In this breaking news, Thunder Energies um, presents evidence for the existence of invisible terrestrial entities, ITEs, of the dark and bright type. And a quote from Rugro Santilli, CEO. This is an exciting discovery. We do not know what these entities are. They're completely invisible to our eye, our binoculars, our traditional Galileo telescopes, but these objects are fully visible in cameras attached to our Santilli telescope. It reminds me of the many ufologists that I've spoken to on our broadcast, um, which is available at truthfrequencyradio.com, where they've detailed how you can point different types of cameras to the sky, night vision, infrared, and get a completely different picture than what you see with the naked eyes. Now, there is a video here, so let's have a look at this. Since the dawn of our civilization, all, um, all the way to the, 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 the time of this breaking news, we humans believed that everything that exists up there is only what we can see with our eyes and with our optical instruments. Well, things have changed now because we have established the existence of entities existing in our terrestrial environment. And these entities are completely invisible to our eyes as well as to our optical instruments, but are fully visible with new instruments, therefore dramatically enlarging our conception of the perceivable universe with um, the far-reaching possibility of future development and discoveries that perhaps are beyond our imagination at this time. The revolutionary Santilli telescope is designed to detect antimatter in deep space. By antimatter, we mean an entity with characteristics that are the exact opposite of ordinary matter, including the index of refraction of light, which is opposite. As you can see in the diagram, we have two telescopes the Santilli and the Galileo. Now if you look closely, you'll see that the only real difference between the two is the lens. Notice that the Galileo uses a convex lens, whereas the Santilli telescope uses a concave lens. Now when ordinary light passes through the uh, Galileo telescope with the convex lens, that lens focuses the light and can be recorded or the image recorded by a digital camera. Should antimatter light pass through the convex lens, it would merely be dispersed along the walls of the telescope and not be focused at all. Now, the exact opposite happens with the Santilli telescope. When antimatter light passes through the concave lens, it is then focused and provides an image that can be recorded by a digital camera. Ordinary light would be dispersed among the walls of the telescope. Galileo originally conceived and constructed his telescope for discovery in deep space. But as we all know, Galileo telescope is today used for all sorts of terrestrial view. Our telescope had essentially the same fate because it was originally conceived for the detection of antimatter galaxies way deep into space. However, to our great surprise, we discovered that our um, telescope can equally detect entities in our terrestrial environment 
that are completely invisible to our eyes, to our binoculars or to Galileo telescope, but they are fully visible in cameras attached to our telescope, for which reason we call them invisible terrestrial entities, ITE. We have detected at least two types of ITE. The first type, also called dark ITE, essentially consists of um, entities leaving a dark image in the background of digital cameras attached to our new telescope. And the second type, called bright IT, essentially consists of entities leaving this time a bright image in the background of a um, digital camera attached to our telescope, often visible without any enlargement. Our discoveries of in invisible terrestrial entities has been independently verified by um, American astronomers also according to publications available in the internet. I am a scientist, formerly from MIT, Harvard and other leading institutions around the world. As such, my duty is that of documenting the existence, quote-unquote, of those entities. The question of what those entities are must be answered by our government because those entities appear to conduct unauthorized surveillance of rather sensitive civilian, industrial, and military installations. What we have learned is that reality is much bigger than we originally supposed. Reality consists not only of things that we can see and observe with our eyes and ordinary telescopes, but things that we can't see with our eyes and with ordinary telescopes. But the Santilli telescope allows us to see things that we have never seen before. Now it's interesting that they've chosen the word entity. An entity is defined as a thing with distinct and independent existence, or an existence slash being, which denotes some type of intelligence. Now, I, I believe from the video, if I'm interpreting this correctly, and I, I think everybody would agree out there, that they are referring to actual entities, uh, something that has an intelligence that works independently, that works within our frequency range. Um, when we moved into 2012, I felt a shift coming on, and I knew that we were going to achieve a higher state of consciousness. And sure enough, between 2012 and 2016, more and more people are reporting psychic abilities, um, intuition, the ability to see more than just the three-dimensional realm, pick up entities, etc., etc., even telepathy in some cases. Now, um, I believe that the powers that be understood that we were getting to this point, so they try to replace the consciousness shift with technology. The way that I'm speaking to you right now, and you're able to see me, you're able to hear me, but it's all done through technology. What if we're able to actually unlock a lot of these powers within ourselves? That's an interesting thought to ponder. So think about that. This all may just be a ploy or a natural progression of technology. Um, but it's very interesting that now we are using science to confirm what shaman and healers and spiritualists have been saying for thousands of years, which is there is a broad, a much broader frequency range here on planet Earth in our existence, and some people have been able to tap into it. Others haven't been able to. And up to this point, if anybody said they were able to see entities, well, chances are they would wind up in a, a mental hospital. But now we can actually see it with science. So I think it's vindicating a lot of the spiritualists out there. I did look up this company to see if it's a hoax or not. The company looks legitimate from the pre uh, preliminary research that I've been able to do. Everything seems to check out, so we are at a very, very interesting time here in 2016, and I'm looking forward to everything that's going to develop over the next couple of years. Um, we'll keep you up to date at truthfrequencyradio.com, your protection from deception.